Hi everyone, this is Tulio Sergusa with Dojo Live. I am here at Traverse 19, sitting with... Nina Giovanelli. Nina Giovanelli, who's the VP of Business, Opera Op Business Operations. Business Operations, yeah. At Trip Actions. Correct. Uh, we've interviewed Trip Actions before, actually, at GBTA in okay. Chicago. Yeah. So, very familiar with your business. Today, we're having mm -hmm. a different kind of conversation than the last time. Last time, we talked a, little bit, a lot more yeah. about your product. Yeah. and the technology and the clients you serve. Uh, today we're talking more about culture. Great. And what makes Trip Action an awesome company. Great. You guys are growing very rapidly. We are. That's exciting. Yes. And you're attracting some amazing people. Yes. There's got to be a secret sauce behind that, right? Well, well, I think, so our mission at Trip Actions is to empower the human connection. Um, and, and we have a set of values one of which is, um, it's all about the user. And I think having a very clear mission and very clear values that a company can rally around really helps create that direction. Um, and, you know, it creates a great culture and it allows you to attract great talent because you have clarity in, in why you're showing up to work every day. So, uh, when it comes to culture, what is the number one most important thing to trip actions? So I'd say, you know, and I've seen our company grow from 80 employees to now well over 800. And I think culture isn't just one thing. I think, and, and it's not something that starts at the top and trickles its way down. I think it's something that everybody is responsible for. And do you create an environment at your company where everybody, everybody can show up and they know why they're there, what we're trying to achieve, and they are contributing to the culture. And so it's not just one thing. Um, it's everybody and how they act when they show up at work. So I know you guys have like a mission, right? Yes. It's a, I think it's a three-pronged mission, right? Something about uh, move people, ideas, and... Businesses forward. Businesses forward. Yep. What does that mean? What is that? What's an example of living that? Yeah, so I think uh, going back to one of my favorite value of it's all about the user, um, we are a company that enables other companies to get where they need to be, to have that meeting, to have that in-person sales conversation. Um, so, you know, we really think of TripAction's role as supporting the travel manager and the traveler. Um, and so creating that great traveler experience that allows them to show up hassle-free and achieve their business objective. That's but you guys have taken a step further, right? I, I know you recently announced because um, you know, traveling is one thing, getting from point A to point B, but now people are more concerned about even their carbon footprint, right? From getting to, to getting from point A to point B. Correct. Yeah. So you guys recently announced something about that. Yes, and we did. How does that? Can you tell us, tell tell the audience a little bit more, and how that ties into the user first m mindset? Yeah. And was that something that, that that came from the employee base in terms of just something that also the employees are excited about? First of all, share what it is. Yeah, so, so we had two big announcements um, at Traverse. One was our carbon data impact project or product, um, and the other is our commitment to trust and transparency. And so with the carbon data impact product, we really want to make sure that travelers, travel managers, and their companies have the data they need to make the decisions that are aligned with their company culture and their beliefs when it comes to, to their impact on the environment while traveling. Um, so, you know, we use the, the data that we have in our platform to then, you know, we make it very clear to them um, their travel behavior and, and how they can use that information to make an impact. So that's one part of it. Um, the second thing that we announce is our trust and transparency and our commitment to that. And so, there's really two things that come with that. One, a revamped admin dashboard. So we're really, really focused on the traveler experience and creating a great booking platform for them. But uh, we also are focused on the travel manager and we're there to support them and help them create a travel program that's really engaging for their employees, right? And so being able to put the data at their fingertips so that they know what experience their travelers are having on trip actions. Are they happy? Is their NPS high? Is their customer satisfaction score high? How often are they traveling? What are they spending? Those are really powerful metrics to have in real time for every one of their employees around the world to know what levers they can pull to impact their program. 
And then the final thing is our public facing trust and transparency page. So it's out there, it's on tripactions.com, it's accessible by anybody. Um, and we're displaying this, those same metrics at the, comp at the trip actions company level. What's our NPS? What's our customer satisfaction? Um, on average, how much are we saving travelers on their hotels? What's the average time to book? Um, and so we're committed to being very clear about the, the experience we're providing to travelers, how good it is, and we're willing to put that out there in the public so that everybody is on the same page and is aware of the experience we're creating. Are you the first company to do this? Yeah, so we're the first company to have a trust and transparency page with this much data and this much information in real time, and we're not hiding it. Okay, so what I heard are two things. You're change agents because you're essentially creating awareness around uh, the impact on the planet for the travel that you're doing. So if I am a traveler and I want to learn a little bit more about how I can improve that, yep. I certainly can get access to that information. So that makes your changing, which is fantastic. Yeah. And the other one, is, it's really about, as you mentioned, trust, right? Internally and externally Correct. and transparency. I'm curious about how that comes about. Is the culture internally one where people are empowered to come up with these ideas? How did that came about where, hey, we should do this because it's important to users, but it's also important to us as a Absolutely. community of not only employees, but also users. How does that come about in yeah. internally? So I think it's definitely two ways. Um, our own employees have great ideas, right? They show up to work every day, excited to be there, aligned to the trip actions mission, and are constantly thinking about ways to improve the company. But we also spend a lot of time talking to our users, talking to travelers, talking to travel managers, talking to our partners and our suppliers, and kind of understanding what's important to them and how we can really be at the forefront of creating features and products that meet their needs, that meet their expectations. And so it's definitely two things. Our employees have great ideas and they show up to work every day with those great ideas. Um, but, but our users and our partners have great ideas as well and we want to make sure we give them a platform to share those ideas with us so that we can act upon them. So what I'm hearing is you've eliminated this separation between what the employee's job and the user's job is to actually contribute ideas and make an impact by just creating a, anyone who's actively participating can have an impact. Yeah, I think. It, is that, creating is that a, a great, good way to look at it? I think creating a great experience, whether it's for the employee, whether it's for a user, a traveler, a travel manager, a supplier, it starts with listening. You have to know what they want. And so creating an environment where you have mechanisms to capture that information, to get that feedback, to incorporate it in your product planning, um, and to release features quickly that meet their needs is really important. So um, I think it's, it's equally valuing the idea regardless of where it's coming from. Great. So you guys are in how many locations now? So we're in nine offices. Nine globally. offices globally. Yes. So you have multiple cultures. We do. How do you go about uh, getting different ideas from different Places. Yeah. So right. you, some cultures are a little bit more open. Hey, I got a great idea. Some cultures are a little bit more. Like, Can I actually speak up? How do you guys make that work uh, right. to your advantage? So, so we started with this, where our mission is empowering that human connection, right? And that becomes within your own company. That becomes harder as you grow. Um, and I think one of the ways where we've lived that to kind of go back to one of your earlier questions is we recently brought every single employee from trip actions around the world to our HQ because we truly believe that yes there is a different culture in our Amsterdam office in our UK office in our Palo Alto office um, but that doesn't mean that those cultures can't coexist or work really well together but by bringing those employees together and having them meet face to face we're making it that much easier for them to understand why is the culture in one office this way a little bit different in another office and meeting that person face to face allows you to have a better understanding of where they're coming from and then it makes those conversations over slack over email over zoom that much easier so is there that's that's great by the way uh, i think a lot of more companies should do that the human to human connection is certainly important but do you yes. guys have some kind of a program to to facilitate that learning of the differences is there uh, that's working for you some of the listeners here are companies struggling with that, yeah. right? So 
if you had to give some words of advice or wisdom in terms of here's some of the things we're doing that actually works that gets these people talking and gets them to get to know each other's differences and, and not only get to know each other's differences but respect and honor each other's differences so what are some of the things you guys are doing yeah and if you're not 100 percent there that's okay too part of the part of this is also the lessons we're learning along the way because not everybody's got to figure it out yeah absolutely no i think look when you're growing as quickly as we are you're going to make mistakes whether it's a big mistake a little mistake everybody's going to make mistakes and i think having a culture where you can make a mistake and you can recover and you can learn from it is really important and so we've recently um been implementing a program where we debrief on it doesn't necessarily have to mis be a mistake it can be something that just didn't go as well as you wanted it to or it can be something that went really well and you want to learn from it and you want to share that with your colleagues so they can i don't double believe down. in mistakes i only believe in lessons <laughs> learned exactly so if we be exactly. under the context of lessons learned yeah so um and we we do it at our company all hands meetings um any employee can get on the agenda and get up there and share kind of this debrief of what happened, why did it happen, Brilliant. and what am I doing to change it. And so we, you know, we do that at our, our company all hands meetings down to each team meeting that we have. I do it with my team, um, and we start off each team meeting with a situation like this. So it makes everybody feel very comfortable to talk about ways in which they want to improve, and it kind of it, it allows you to reflect on yourself too. Or I was, you know, I was in a situation similar to that, and. Oh, Learning from my colleague, this is how I can act differently next time. Okay, so let me see if I heard this right. Yeah. Which I think it's actually brilliant, by the way. Yeah. You proactively encourage vulnerability. Absolutely. So that people are not just sharing, look how great we did last month, but are actually sharing, holy cow, here's what happened, here's what we learned from it. Yeah. And through that experience, people feel a little less alone, lonely in their own mistake, a lot less Absolutely. Fear of shame of having made the mistake to begin with, or the lesson learned. Right, and it's a so, place where you can learn and you can grow. That's great advice. Yeah. So anyone listening, encourage that vulnerability. Instead of just talking about the highlights of what went well, talk about what didn't go so well Absolutely. and Absolutely. what the lessons were. Would you say that that is one of the reasons that makes you guys a great place to work? What What would you consider the primary reason that makes you guys a great place to work? Yeah, I think. Definitely. I think it's a place where we're growing so quickly. We've had a tremendous year, you know, multiple rounds. Um, and I think it's really easy to, to kind of get an inflated ego when that happens. But, but having these really human moments where you reflect on what I could have done better and it makes you want to support your colleagues and, and it creates a great culture where everyone's learning and growing together. And no matter who it is in the room from Ariel, our CEO, all the way down um it's somebody's first time doing something right ariel has never uh, had a company that's this large before uh you know, all the way down i've never been in a role like this before it kind of it trickles all the way down so it kind of gives everybody this sense of connection where it's okay to learn and grow together i think it's fantastic yeah. um in a recent blog i was talking about what if we change the relationship to success as one of growing and learning Yep. instead of one of outcomes. Right. Sounds like you guys have adopted that very well. I hope so, yeah. It's been a pleasure talking with you. Thanks for sharing these great ideas and great advice and words of wisdom that other people can learn from. Thank you for being on the show. Of course. Thank you. Cheers.